Hello there guys, it's Coolfox over here and today I'm bringing an unboxing and review of the Blitzwolf BWHL1 smartwatch. So before we start off this video I would like to thank Banggood for sending out this product and as you will see at the end of the video I do have a coupon code for you guys and if you click on the link below and use the coupon code you will get around 30% off which is obviously a good deal considering that this already is pretty cheap so you'll get it even cheaper. So starting off with the unboxing, all you have on the front is the model name, obviously the Blitzwolf logo here on the top. On the sides you can see that it is all basically blank and on the back you have a few specifications such as the Bluetooth version which is 4.0, the working time which is of around 7 to 10 days which is quite accurate since I have been using this for around a week and a half and I only charged it once which is really good to see at this price point. A charging time of around 2 hours which is also pretty accurate, a battery of 180mAh so as you can tell this has a pretty small battery but it still holds the charge really well and the weight is of 49 grams which again this is a very lightweight watch so you won't even feel it on your hand. So opening up the box on the top you'll find the watch and as I said I have been using this so you can see that I have put on the plastic screen protector again just so you know how this looks. And as you can see it does tell you to fully charge it before using which is always a good thing to do with new products since obviously getting them fully charged will not hinder the battery performance and the battery indicator will work as intended. So underneath the watch you will find another divider which basically has nothing in there and then underneath you will find the box which when opening it up you will find these items inside so obviously you will find the charger, a manual and a little card and also the watch straps. So going through the user manual quickly you can see here that it gives you a table of contents as well and other than that it just lets the application which this uses which is Duffit which is commonly used by these cheap smartwatches it gives you some other stuff again the specifications for example how you control it for example the different functions that it has and all the other stuff which again if you never owned a smartwatch before this might be useful and another good thing about this manual is that it is in full color then as i mentioned before you have this little card here which basically states that if you are satisfied you can obviously share the product and give a good review and if you are dissatisfied you can obviously contact them with any problems you have so now moving on to the charger as you can see i have already used this obviously as i said before and once you remove the wrapping you can see that this is a magnetic charger with two little prongs here which connect to the underside of the watch and on the other side you will find a normal usb type a so obviously there is no problem with this whatsoever you can connect it to your laptop wall charger and you can charge it up with no problems and now lastly moving on to the watch itself as i said before i have taken off the protector so you can tell that it is already in use but apart from that you can see that the design is really good looking it even looks a bit like the apple watch so if you are a fan of that this will be pretty good for you and apart from that all of it is made out of metal which is extremely good to see at this price point and as you can see on the back you have a heart rate sensor the charging magnets here and the charging point also the model number again this is where you connect the straps to which we will go into later and apart from that on the front you have the button here on the bottom which is the only point which is touch capacitive so everything will be controlled from here and the LCD screen is this little box inside which I'm not sure if you can see properly but it is quite big so you do not really have to worry about that either but it did get a few bumps and scratches primarily here as you can see and this is going to be very normal with these types of watches since you should not really expect a really good screen with that much scratch resistance since this is only around 20 euro and with the discount code in the description and by clicking through the link down there you can get an even cheaper price. But anyways to turn it on all you need to do is hold down the button, it will vibrate and it will turn on without any problems. Now obviously as I said before I have been using this so you can tell that there are already some steps there and basically overall you will see that the watch face is pretty good looking by itself and going through the menu you can see a calorie counter a sleep meter, a heart rate sensor which if you hold down it will start reading and obviously since it's not on my hand you will see that it will not read any heart rate. There you can see that the heart rate is in use and as you can tell the little green light will start flashing trying to find a heart rate but again as you can see sometimes it does fail and it thinks that it has detected a heart rate when in reality it has not but from my previous testing I have seen that it works pretty well and usually if it's not on your hand it says that the watch is not being worn so it will not read out a heart rate 
Apart from that, you have a training mode, a blood pressure sensor, an oxygen sensor, which again, this is not going to be very accurate because you need to consider that the only sensor is this small one right here. Obviously, in this case, real medical equipment will be a lot more accurate, but nonetheless, you do have those features if you want to use them. Weather, which is controlled by your phone and obviously it will give out the information to your watch. Messages, which if you hold down, you can go and click through them, although obviously now it's not connected to my phone. A player which is really good as well so if it's connected to your phone you can keep holding down the button and you can control the music a shutter button so again if you hold this down and it's connected to your phone it can act as a shutter and then if you click on other you can see that you have a few other options such as a stopwatch which if you hold down it will start and if you hold down again it will stop obviously you can pause it in between then you have mute off so again it depends on how you want this if you do not want it to vibrate you can obviously mute it you have a reset button so if there's any problem you can obviously reset you have a power off button as well and a brightness button right here now i prefer that obviously it would be on the brightest setting but if you want it to be a bit on the lower side you can obviously control it depending on what you would like now something about this menu here that i do not like is really the colors that it has now obviously some people will be a fan of that and some others won't and I personally think that it's a bit too flashy for my liking, but nonetheless, again, this is all personal preference. Now going through the training mode, you can see also that you have a bunch of training modes here. Obviously, if you want to keep track of everything, for example, walking, you can hold that down. It will read the heart rate. Obviously, as you can see, the heart rate sensor is now on. And then it also calculates your calories burned, distance walked, and also the steps. And if you hold it down, you can obviously stop or pause the training mode. So if you want to download the app, you can go into the Play Store and search for Dafit. As you can see, it does have 3.4 stars, so it's not the best rating ever, but you do have 1 million plus downloads, which again, this is since all of these cheap smartwatches use a similar app. So for example, you have Dafit, Zeroner Health, and all the other apps that are usually used with these cheap Chinese smartwatches. And other than that, you have a pretty clean layout, as you can see from the pictures below as well and we will go through the app right now. So opening it up, in fact, it does tell you to obviously turn on the Bluetooth. Then you can go into the smartwatch section here and connect to your watch without any problems. Now, since I have connected already, you can see that it will start trying to connect with it. And once it finds it and connects, it will display connected. Now, again, this is the route that you have to take to connect this watch to your phone, as if you go through the Bluetooth settings themselves, it will not connect at all. And this is because when you have the watch on and connected to your phone, you can also connect, for example, earphones or headphones. Now here, since it's stated that it's connected, you can obviously go and change the watch faces. So for example, this was the watch face that I had before. As you can see, if we turn it on here and change the watch face, you can see that it will change by itself. And obviously this is all down to personal preference, but I do prefer the first watch face. You can also turn on notifications, obviously if you give it access to the notifications. And for example, I want Facebook notifications to go through. And in this case, you do need to give it access from here. And this will show up on your watch whenever you receive a Facebook notification. Then you have alarms. So again, if you want your phone alarms to go through or make other alarms for the swatch itself, you can do that and it will start vibrating. So the shutter release here. So if you go through the app on the phone, you can obviously see that there it has gone into the shutter setting by itself, holding that down. It will start the shutter counter and there it just took a photo obviously the flash also activated so you also have find device so as you can see right here it will start vibrating to try and tell you where the watch is if you have lost it time formats which you can change to 12 hour time there you can see that it has changed to the 12 hour format then you can also change the system so for example a metric system or the imperial system you have to choose between those two here we use metric system so i will leave it as is you also have a do not disturb so you can start this mode whenever you want and end it whenever you want you also have the language here which is automatically set to english but you do have a few other languages here as well you also have quick view and you can also display the weather if you want and if you do not like that you can obviously turn it off as well now apart from that going into the main menu here you can see all of the other stuff so basically you have the step meter which as i said before i have been using so it has calculated a few steps by itself and as you can see if you go into it you can see the distance traveled calories burned and also the minutes walked and if you go over the whole week 
you can also see all of the other stuff listed down here. And again, it will try and compare this to other data collected from other people. In fact, this does collect your data, but it only collects it to compare you to other people. So obviously everything stays anonymous. You can see who walked more, for example. But nonetheless, this can be quite scary for some people. So again, if you do not like the app, you can obviously delete it and use the watch by itself. Then you also have the sleep meter here. So as you can tell, it does tell you how you slept. So in this case, I have slept for around seven hours. Now this is accurate to a certain point only because for example, here it states that I woke up at eight, but if you sleep again after eight, it might not measure that. So again, this is accurate only as much as you move your hand. Now going into the heart rate again, it's the same thing. So if you do not click on measure, this will not measure automatically. And this is quite useful in my opinion, since it makes the battery life last even longer. Now again, some people would want it to measure every few hours, for example, but that can be set through the app itself. And then you have the blood pressure sensor, which I did not take because these two sensors here, in fact, aren't going to be that accurate. And also the heart rate sensor, as you can tell, it is a very small sensor right here, so they won't be super accurate. So you don't really need to use them that much. And you also have outdoor running. So if you've been running, it will obviously calculate everything and put that information into the app. And now the last thing I want to show is how you connect the watch straps to your watch itself. So going through them, you can see that they are made out of rubber and they do actually feel really good. So first off, you need to grab this end of the watch strap and put it inside these two holes right here. And to do that, it is a bit tricky, but you can see that there are pins. And once that is inserted, you can grab this little knob up here, pull it backwards. And here, for example, I did make a mistake and it went up a bit. So you need to rearrange and make sure that it's connected properly. Once it's connected, you will be able to tell because it will not move anywhere. So there you have the watch strap connected. Now the way this actually closes is pretty genius. So all you need to do is do that and just like any other watch, close it like that. But then this strap goes underneath so it does not flap around with a little strap here. And this makes sure that the strap does not go out, does not protrude, it does not hit anything. And it stays very fit and snugly underneath the other strap which in my opinion is a really good and genius way to use the strap mechanism here. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. If you wish to buy this watch for yourself, go down in the description and click on the link and use the discount code, which is found in the description as well. And apart from that, this was Cool Fox, and I'm out. Peace.